Hello out there. Um, don't worry, you will be getting a uh, hair tutorial probably later this afternoon um, or early evening. So uh, you can look forward to that. Uh, but I figured I would do another request that didn't have anything to do with hair. Um, I kept getting a lot of requests uh, for people wanting to see my nail polish collection and all my stuff since I got back into doing my nails. And I have to say, I didn't realize I had quite this much until I got it all out of the box and put it on my sewing table. Um, this is the box that I put it in. Uh, it's really old fashioned and uh, needs cleaned. And yeah. But in that little box, um, all of this fits, if you can believe it. That's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Um, anyways, if any of you out there, um, if any of you out there know of a nice, inexpensive, because y'all know how cheap I am, an inexpensive like caboodle or something for nail polish, please send me a link um, because I really need to get one because <laughs> that ain't cutting it no more. All right, so let's see. This is the stuff I use. Uh, well, let's start with the back. Um, I do like this, uh, the 3 to one dry stuff. It really helps since I do a lot of layers. It helps dry between coats. I have uh, numerous clear stuff. Uh, hard as wraps, doesn't work, but I still have it. Um, my nails tend to peel, uh, polish peels off. Uh, this is a really quick top coat. It makes my polish dry fast, so I like it. And it's a big bottle and it was cheap at Sally's. Um, various Sally Hansen stuff and then uh, I bought this uh, Orly Bonder and I have to say that um, the Orly stuff is expensive but it really works so to me it's worth the money my manicures last longer then we have let's see random colors uh, that's kind of brown not that I wear it very often brown brown which I do wear my husband hates brown though I have one little gold this really nice orly silver, which is on the tips of my nails. Um, I did a French sort of manicure. Um, black, because you never know when you need it, and some white. Uh, my stripers, which these were the expensive ones. Um, these ones were the dollar ones. And I have to say, there is no difference. And actually, the dollar ones come in a lot more colors. Um, I really like the striper polish. Uh, my purples, not a lot. I tend to like ones that that do that weird color change because I'm an odd duck and I just like that kind of stuff. Uh, my reds, pinks, what have you. The bright flipping orange. I'm not sure why I bought it. <laughs> I do like hot pink. Um, this one's really pretty. Again, this was a dollar. God, I love the dollar store. Uh, my greens, small collection, but I do love green, especially the violent ones, which I have a couple shades. This is really pretty and I can't find it anymore. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Those are the prismy iridescent types. I like those a lot, especially when I do French manicures and, and that kind of stuff. Um, blue, I have an inordinate amount of blues and turquoise. And oddly enough, a lot of them are almost the same color. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, this one's really pretty. That's probably my newest polish. Um, what is that? Pixie Dust. I like it. It's got just a little tiny bit of glitter in it. But, yeah. I like blue. And then we have my sparkles. And I have a lot of glitters, and I still don't have enough. Um, yeah, I've got everything from, you know, the cheapo glitters to uh oh god these ones are nice this is the china glaze glitter big flex of glitter in those so you know i was quite happy to find those and then if you just feel like tiny glitters yeah those yeah i have a lot of glitter then we have my extra stuff um i do have some acrylic paints that you know i try to do i have some greens for leaves and white, black, yellow. Um, it's me trying to do uh, more like the hand painting type stuff, which I really suck at so far, but I'll get better. Um, 
Oh, my sparkles. Uh, my first set of rhinestones, which are severely depleted. Um, then I found a place on eBay that not only has lots of rhinestones, but I got these pearls, too, which I really like. They're a little classier, I guess, than my tacky, tacky rhinestones. I used the green pearl today. I don't know how well that shows up. Um, and my loose glitters. I do tend to like the holographic glitters because I like to get a rainbow. This is actually eyeshadow. Mary Kate and Ashley eyeshadow, but it works good for glitter. <laughs> uh, golds. And then uh, an iridescent, which I think I'll probably end up adding this to one of the clear polishes and trying to see what that does. Mylar Flex, which turn out pretty sometimes. This especially. Nice, Murphy. This is really nice on black. It makes it look like a mica or a mother of pearl. And then my daughters and my tiny paintbrush. My, this is the best nail file I've ever found. It's ceramic um, and it doesn't get dull, which I am all about. This wicked thing is what I use to clean out from under my nails. <laughs> well, it works for me. <laughs> So anyways, that's my um, stash, I guess. Wow, that's a lot. And I'm going to put it all in that box. Yeah. So, I think my husband would say that I need to stop buying polish. Oh, Murphy wants a cameo. Murphy. Look at all those toys. He's not spoiled. At all. Anyways, um, yeah, I think my husband would say I need to stop buying polish, but clearly I need more, especially more glitter. Uh, but as you can see, um, I do like some Murphy. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the uh, Jingle Bell dog was annoying me. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, as I was saying, I do like some of the expensive polishes, like the China Glaze and the Orly, but I am really, really cheap. Um, so I buy a lot of my polish at the dollar store. Uh, the only things I will truly put out a, you know, the eight bucks a bottle for are colors that I can't find anywhere else. Um, or the quick dry type stuff. Um, because I have nieces and, uh, they can't sit still for a really long time. So I find the Insta Dry. More squeaks. I find the Insta Dry to be really nice because by the time I get to their last pinky nail, their thumb on the other hand's already dry, which is nice. So, anyways, there's my uh, polish, and I will see you later with a really cool updo tutorial. We're gonna do a perimeter braid. Um, I know you have no idea what that is, well, some of you do, but uh, that should be really fun. So, I will see you then. Bye.